Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this week of uh, Geeky Ranjit Explains, I'm again going to talk about uh, autofocusing systems. Uh, just last two weeks ago, I was uh, covering uh, regarding autofocusing systems on your smartphones and cameras and we discussed about uh, PDF, uh, that is face detect autofocusing system and contrast detect autofocusing system. So if you don't know what is this, I would suggest you go back and watch those episodes because in this episode, we are going to talk about the third type of autofocusing system that we are seeing a lot these days that is known as laser autofocusing system and uh, autofocusing helps you uh, capture sharper images and uh, to before I talk about laser autofocusing system uh, and how it works uh, for autofocusing to work for example if you have a magnifying glass and if you have ever used a magnifying glass you'll notice that to get the focus right and the sharp picture you might have been like adjusting the uh, magnifying glass up and down to get the perfect picture uh, so indirectly you are doing that autofocusing and uh, again uh, indirectly your brain is calculating the distance from the subject and adjusting the mirror this is something that cameras do to get autofocus and for laser autofocusing system they employ something like this if you know the distance between your subject and your camera then using some mathematical algorithms you can determine the autofocusing uh, thereby if your camera knows that the subject is let's say about three feet away then it can adjust the lenses inside and get a sharp picture. This is the theory that a laser autofocusing system employs. A laser autofocusing system has nothing but a laser transmitter and a receiver. It sends a beam to the subject and when the, the beam hits the subject, it bounces back and the receiver gets it. And using the mathematical algorithm, it calculates the time that is taken to hit the subject and come back and then it can calculate the uh, what do you say the distance and then accurately adjust the lenses inside to get a sharp focus and because it's a laser and it's not a very high powered laser it's just infrared beam that it sends out it is very quick hence if you have used any uh, smartphone with laser autofocusing system you might have noticed the moment you just tap uh, on it it just autofocuses instantly for example we saw this with lg g3 lg g4 also had it and uh, the moto g4 plus also had laser autofocusing system so it is very fast laser autofocusing system that's the big advantage that laser autofocusing system has and another big uh, advantage that laser autofocusing system has is that let's move to the pros and cons every contra uh, what do you say this autofocusing system has its pros and cons so let's jump uh, to the pros and cons of this laser autofocusing system the biggest thing is it's very fast because uh, it's sending a beam of light and it's just coming back so it's very fast the moment you click it you get the focus so it's extremely fast and another big advantage laser autofocusing system has over other systems is that it can actually work in almost no lighting that is very low lighting conditions here the earlier contrast systems that i was talking about that is the face detect autofocusing system and contrast detect have a hard time in actually low lighting in fact face detect autofocusing system sort of fails when there is very low lighting conditions that's not the case with laser autofocusing system but again uh, the biggest con with the laser autofocusing system is that as this is a very low power uh, laser that we have on our smartphones or cameras it's not very uh, strong so if the subject is very very far for example if you're trying to take a photograph of a mountain or something the laser simply can't go that that far and come back because it's a very low powered laser hence laser autofocusing system will not work if the subject are very far but in normal circumstances if you're taking a picture uh, of a subject that's a couple of feet away then it is very fast so that is one limitation that we have with laser autofocusing system uh, but again uh, uh, we might get that using hybrid autofocusing system and let me talk about what is hybrid autofocusing system it's nothing but a mixture of uh, these uh, autofocusing system that we have for example as i've mentioned in laser autofocusing system uh, if the subject is too far it simply fails hence it actually falls back generally most of the laser autofocusing system also have the contrast detect autofocusing system as a backup again what is this contrast detect autofocusing uh, system watch the first episode of geeky ranjit explains there i've talked about it and and there are also other types of uh, uh, what do you say hybrid autofocusing systems uh, there uh, for example uh, uh, many of the new sony sensors actually are employing 
फेस डिटेक्ट ऑडो फोकसिंग सिस्टम विथ कॉन्ट्रास्ट डिटेक्ट ऑडो फोकसिंग सिस्टम फॉर बेटर ऑडो फोकसिंग सो हाइब्रिड इज नथिंग बट अ मिक्सचर ऑफ टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेजर ऑडो फोकसिंग सिस्टम आइडियली यूजेस कॉन्ट्रास्ट डिटेक्ट एज अ बैकअप बट देर इज वन स्मार्टफोन दैट आव सीन दैट हैज एक्चुअली इंप्लीमेंटेड PDAF and the laser auto focusing system and that is the Google Pixel uh this is the first smartphone that i've seen that ha it uses a laser but it also has PDAF so it's a you using a combination of these two for hybrid auto focusing system but generally on most of the other smartphones hybrid hybrid auto focus system that we talk about is a combination of a PDAF and contrast detect auto focusing system so guys uh, uh this was a very quick video regarding laser auto focusing system and uh, hybrid auto focusing system again if you want to know what is pdf and contrast detect again watch the first episode of geeky ranjit explains i've covered those topics in that video and again guys if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section what is the uh, next topic that you would like me to cover on this uh, geeky ranjit explains series so guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video